Uh, this exhibition, Europe was chosen because Europe has always been a friend of children. Indeed, as the mayor mentioned, back 2004, it was one of the few cities in Serbia who established a plan of action, and it's one of the few cities where the plan of action is still ongoing. Beirut je izabran kao jedan od gradova u kojima će biti predstavljena ova izložba zato što se uvek ponaša, uvek se postavio kao prijatelj dece. Kao što je gradonačelnik pomenuo, 2004. godine Beirut je bio jedan od malobrnih gradova u Srbiji koji je pokrenuo izradu lokalnog plana akcije za decu, a danas je jedan od malobrnih gradova u Srbiji u kojima te plan još uvek postoji. Možda je to zato da kada sam u Srbiji u 2014, 13, and they asked me where I came from, and I said I came from Beirut. And I don't know why, because I've never been to that city before. But something there was already attracting me. Ne znam zašto sam to govorio, jer nikad ranije nisam boravio u Birotu, ali prosto nešto me i u ovom gradu privlačilo. Uh, I will leave that exhibit here, which will present 70 years of collaboration, of cooperation, from the time of Yugoslavia to Serbia today. It's a unique opportunity to highlight the way we have worked together in seven domains, in particular right here in Pirot, in education, in health, in, in uh, child protection, in social inclusion. Ova izložba povodom 70 godina rada UNICEF-a u Srbiji predstavlja dobu priliku da obeležimo 70 godina saradnje. Saradnje koja je počela u nekadošnjoj Jugoslaviji, a nastavlja se i danas u Srbiji. I to je i prilika da prikažemo saradnju koju smo imali u Srbiji, a i konkretno u gradu Pirotu, u nekoliko oblasti. U obrazovanju, u zdravstvu, u dečji zaštiti i u socijalnom uključivanju. And that exhibit shows what we have done together from the moment UNICEF was created in 1946, where uh, Yugoslavia at the time was the second country in the world where UNICEF and Yugoslavia started having operation and had a committee to help other countries. By 1957, we were also working closely to establish, for example, IMLEC and the mill industry in Serbia, or Yugoslavia at the time. During the war in the 90s, we were together also with both Yugoslavia and Serbia and we have never stopped that cooperation. Ova izložba je takođe prilika da se podsjetimo svega onoga što smo uradili zajedno od 1946. godine, kada je UNICEF osnovan i kada je Jugoslavija bila druga zemlja u svetu koja se priključila UNICEF-u kako bi se obizbedila pomoć za decu u cijelom svetu. 1957. godine taj rad se nastavio između ostalog i tome što je UNICEF podrušku za osnivanje i mleka, mlekarske industrije. A tokom 90-ih godina takođe smo bili tu i nikada nismo prestali da pružamo podrušku. What you will see in the exhibit is the history of partnership where together with private sector of Serbia, with government institution, with ambassadors such as Novak Djokovic, Anna Ivanovic and Sasha Djokovic, citizens of Serbia, including citizens from Pirot, municipalities, teachers, doctors, patronage nurses, Buma health mediators. It's a history of partnership that you will see under your eyes during the time of emergencies, but at time also of non-emergencies. Ono što možete vidjeti na ovoj izložbi jeste istorija našeg partnerstva, istorija toga kako smo radili zajedno sa privatnim sektorom Srbije, sa vlastima Srbije, sa ambasadorima Dobre Volje, Novak Đokovićem, Anom Ivanović i Sašim Dorđevićem, sa građanima Srbije, sa gradovima i opštinama, nastavnicima, lekarima, patronarnim zestrama, romskim zdravstvenim medijatorkima i svima ostalima smo gradili partnerstvo i zajedno radili. Population of Pirot for having supported the fact that the children who are refugees or migrants can access today to education. For me, it's commendable. And I thank the school, the school principal, the teachers, the students, the mayor's office, the population of, of Pirot for having welcoming those 
children who are facing difficult times and have no idea of where the journey will end at the time when the rest of Europe are rejecting them. Također bih želeo da zahvalim građanima i građankama Europe, da što su pružili podršku deci, izbjegocama i migrantima i omogućili da ona krenu u školu. Ovo želim da pohvalim i želim da zahvalim i školama, i direktorima škola, i nastavnicima, i učenicima, i gradonačelniku, i gradskom upravi, i svim spodobnicima Europe, što su otvorili vrata i poželjene dobrodošnice u ovoj deci koja su na jednom dugom putu i nemaju nikog predstavu o tome kada i gde će se ozavršiti. Za razliku od mnogih drugih evropskih zemalja u kojima je prisutno zaštitno privačiti.